New York is a city that is steeped in revival history. So at the turn of the 19th century, there was a preacher by the name of Charles Finney, and he would go around and uh, have these tent meetings and see thousands and thousands of people come to Jesus. He had his intercessor with him, a man named Daniel Nash, who would go six weeks ahead of him and just con rent a basement for like a like a dollar or probably less and just pray and contend. And, uh, and then when Finney would arrive, Daniel Nash would say, he is here. And then he would move to the next town. But um, when uh, Daniel Nash died, Charles Finney took up a pastorate here in the city and they built a purpose-built uh, church on uh, Broadway on the corner of, I think it was between Worth and Catherine, uh, called the Broadway Tabernacle. And then one morning, a young businessman, a cloth merchant by the name of Jeremiah Lanfear, walked past and heard a, a choir singing inside and felt compelled to go inside and he came to faith in Jesus and then not long after that he felt compelled to start a prayer meeting uh, in the middle of the financial district and so he just handed out some stuff put a board outside and did a noon prayer meeting aimed at the businessmen in that area and uh, for the first half an hour no one came it was literally just him on his own and then one guy showed up and then eventually there were six people and this six people praying in what is now a Chipotle on Fulton Street, um, the, uh, you know, they just were going, God, we need you in this generation. And then following that, thousands upon thousands of people would come and it turned into a daily prayer meeting that would see half of the financial district shut down at lunchtime because everyone, all these churches were open praying. There were um, reports coming in from ships that were coming into the into New York that wouldn't even make it in because people were coming under the conviction of their sin and they were saying, can you send pastors out to the ships because people are encountering the presence of God. And so like this came from one bloke who just had a vision to see God touch his city. And so if you're out there thinking like, what can my one small part do? I want to tell you, you can do a lot.